Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Diamonds, Trip Young, and Intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh -huh, And if uh -huh. your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics hey, hey. RealFansRealTalk.com Got it, uh -huh. they got the hottest bloggers Is Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first I'm talking about the latest yeah, I'm talking about the greatest yeah, yeah. Go check out the art even tell a neighbor, tell a Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out, boom. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Uh, Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Oh, Merry Christmas. Welcome to another edition of Real Fans, Real Talk. Every year Santa Claus comes to town, and I am back here on the set of Real Fans, Real Talk alongside my good friend, Trip Young, what's going on, Trip? Merry Man, Christmas. You know, Santa, every year you come here, I always think uh, I must have made the, the, the good list of this year. I'm real excited about that. Um, I, I want to let the fans at home know the Statman is not here today because he's practicing because he's going to play in the finals of the uh, 2K tournament, so that's why he's not here today. So, I, you know, sometimes we got to get replacement guests hosted. So I called Santa. Well, actually, I called Miss Claus. I texted her because we text back and forth sometimes. I called her. She called Santa, set it back up for him to come on the show uh, this year. And then, you oh, know, we're rocking out. I you texted Mrs. Claus like Yo, that, I didn't so. slide in the DM, though. That's what I'm saying. I didn't, I didn't slide in the DMs or nothing. I texted her directly. So I don't want you to think it was nothing, you know, crazy going on. You know, my bad, Santa. I ain't mean to get in your business like that. I apologize, you know, for what I just said. Miss Claus. All right, you know, but that's neither here nor there. We got a whole lot to get into. We are a couple of days away from the third annual Real Fans Real Talk NBA 2K tournament. And uh, so we got some very special guests joining us on the set today. Um, before before we uh, get into the tournament, though, let me introduce everybody. Let me start over here. Uh, Emerald Marie, she's back with us, guest hosting. Back again. All right, welcome back. And uh, we got the team from Kmart, man. What's going on? We, we're gonna start over here, Michael. Tell the folks at home, introduce yourself to the world, to the Real Fans, Real Talk family. Hi, guys. Thank you for having us on today. Um, actually, I work for um, Shop Your Way, Sears, and Kmart. Um, what we actually do is we work with many community organizations, and we help bring basically their um, ideas um, to life. At the same time, branding um, Sears, Kmart, and Shop Your Way, and what we do um, in the, um, for our members who actually shop with us. So we have this great opportunity right now to be able to actually work on a sponsorship with Anthony and the team here today is really glad to be here uh, to talk a little bit about that in detail. All right, and on, on this side, we're gonna start back here, Glenn. Hi, I'm Glenn and um, like Mike Riley said, we work with Shop Your Way and uh, we support very good community events like Anthony's doing and we're here to give our best support to it and we're great to be here today. All right, and then of course, the lovely Janine, how's it? Yeah. Representing K1 on 34th Street and Kmart and Sears and Shop Your Way. <laughs> All right, now listen. Let me, I just want to add that sometimes the elves, they get a little lazy with some, you know, they're taking a little too much eggnog around the holidays and they don't meet the quota for all the toys. Yeah. So Santa got to stop in Kmart because they got great exactly. prices. So that's yeah. what that's, you know. That's true. I just want to let everyone know the inside scoop on how Santa that's and the elves crazy. get it all done. Santa, I didn't know that Kmart, but because you shop at Kmart, I'm going to definitely continue, you know down to, to Kmart. I like to go to the 34th Street uh, store because that's where my friends are. So I go sport uh, a... <laughs> 34th Street happened. It was, uh, exactly. was short. Wait a minute. You telling me Kmart was behind that miracle? Uh, they had something uh, doing it. Uh, I, I, uh, listen, Santa. I, I had some shenanigans that day. So I had to, <laughs> had to get the toys ready. That is true. You know what, Santa? You're a good dude. I, I know the way that you would admit that for everybody to know, you're a real humble uh, guy, and that's well, why I the kids love you. Well, I kind of threw the elves under the bus a little bit that they didn't get the job done. Well, but, they, you know. they, they're short enough to skate, so they'll, they'll be okay. Uh, just tell them dip down a little bit lower, you know, let the, let the bus go past, and everything is, uh, is all right, man, you know? But <laughs> that's how we roll, man. Uh, but yeah, but you know, 
we're coming up this Sunday. Uh, it's definitely fast approaching. We are going to be back at the Barclays Center. Uh, we're going to be back in the boardroom. Kmart is going to be in the building. Uh, the finals is, is uh, going down. Again, Statman will be playing the back-to-back -back champion, Twin City. He's supposed to be pulling up tonight, but we're going to see. Um, and, and we're going to talk to him a little bit later on in the program. But uh, we definitely want to uh, thank uh, Kmart, Sears, the whole Shop Your Way family. Uh, we reached out to them a couple of weeks ago, and they were joyed uh, about the opportunity of working with us uh, for the tournament. And uh, every, they, they've been amazing throughout this whole journey. I know myself and Janine, we had to run around all over town trying to maneuver things to make it happen. Glenn, you know, he'd he been everywhere. He was brought up because Glenn, you know, he doubles as, uh, as one of Santa's helpers as well. So he's been, <laughs> you know, trying to stay cool, but being hot at the same time and, you know, in the suit. But uh, we definitely appreciate that. Um, do you guys, all right, tell, tell the guys at home a little bit more about uh, Shop Your Way and what you guys, you know, do. All right, so um, Shop Your Way is basically the, the simplest way to explain that to our listeners is it's a cashback offer. So what we do is if you shop at Sears Kmart, we give you money back every single time you shop, right? And a lot of the times most people embrace that because they walk in and they spend $30 and we give them the entire $30 back in points to shop on something else. Um, the loyalty program is free. Um, it's available to everybody. And on top of that, we've actually launched our personal shoppers, right? Personal shoppers are here today mm -hmm. um, representing for free. So if you're a Shop Your Way member, you have access to a personal shopper that's going to help you, especially now. Holiday season is crazy. Our personal shoppers will actually be able to help you with everything that you need, do all the legwork for you, and get that product to you in a very short period of time. On top of that, we actually play a very active role in the community. Um, so we work with many organizations, churches, schools, um, low-income, hospitals, um, um, all different charities. And the, the whole purpose here is to figure out how we connect back with the community. And community mm -hmm. means a lot to us. And along that journey, what we've learned is that there are so many great organizations out there. And my team have actually done a great job actually reaching out to these organizations I think that's how Anthony, you came about through their outreach program and be able to connect and see how we could share a common goal. Mm -hmm. So how we could get what you are trying to do in your community and what we are trying to do in our community and, and bring those community together and give the community one product. Um, branding for us is, 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 is great, but most important for us is how do we connect with our community and let them know that we're here for them in multiple ways. Mm -hmm. And we, we show that throughout the year and what we're giving back to them. So, um, and the team has been doing a great job with that. Definitely have now. And you guys partner also up, y'all Y'all do some stuff with Uber. Um, Janine, tell them, because my point's like quadrupled in the last like week, because I've been <laughs> taking so much Ubers, so I got to go shopping next to myself. But tell them how the whole Uber thing, you know, connects with the Shop Your Way. Okay, so I, cre I connected um, pick up your Pick here. up your mic, Janine. Okay, okay, I'll pick it up. Can you hear me? We good. So I connected Anthony over here with Uber, so he, he uses Uber all the time. I said, hey, you know you can connect your Uber with, with Shop Your Way? He's like, no way. I'm like, you get $2 every time you ride. Everybody Each time you ride, you get $2 back. So That's within crazy. one week, how much money did you make? I made like... You earned like $40, right? Yeah, I was, I was up like a good 40 yeah, What? 40 and that wasn't even a week. I think it was probably like week. three, four days. Nothing but what he normally does, which yeah. is take Uber, and then he was getting the $2 back in points. So he was really happy. So now he's going to put me to work when he comes back to the store. Yep. Because I'm his personal shopper. And now That's I'm true. Have to go shopping back. See, he didn't tell me about that. Yeah. Cause, uh, cause I use Uber all the time, and he it. did not I tell me surprise, that. I was going to surprise you when Kmart came. <laughs> I was going to tell you I'm at like, the same time. I, cause I had told, I told Sam, you know, you. that was gonna happen, and then <laughs> I, would have, well, I was gonna say to everybody else and tell y'all, this is, you know, Uber's linked up. So, you know, oh, okay. You to, we listen. All right. I don't, <laughs> want, I, don't want to, no, I don't want the folks at home to be jealous either because. <laughs> on, on uh, Sunday at the Barclays Center, you guys can actually link up with the team members from Kmart. And they can get you guys signed up so everybody can have their own personal shopper and you can get your extra points for, for your Uber dollars and all that. Because I, mm. I know most of my friends use Uber. Yeah, so Santa, Uber. You, you use Uber in the off season too. <laughs> um, Santa has right? his own sleigh, so, you know. You know it's not, not Uber power? Not a reindeer I take me, but, you know, every yeah. now and then, if uh, too much egg <laughs> dog don't want to get behind the sleigh. And that's what know. I'm saying, yeah. You yeah. know, yeah, so, so, you're just lazy. You know, you don't want to. Yeah. 
don't want to take the, this layout. Exactly. So, so Anthony, on, the top, the on, on top off. of what we're doing on Sunday for the teammates, we're also going to be giving away tons of Uber swags, right? Yeah. Coffee okay. cups, you know, uh, mugs, lunch bags. All Uber branded, so anyone who actually want to just link the account, doing everything you're doing right now, mm -hmm. and be able to make money while you do that, we'll hook you up on on Sunday. So we, we're looking to do some grand things at yeah. that event on Sunday. It's gonna be the party, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I okay. think you might want to get there early because I know the, the Kmart team is gonna be there early setting up. So y'all don't, you know, be on time. No, we're gonna start at four o'clock. Don't come at four or five because you don't know how many raffles might have have gone up in those first five minutes of the day. But um, you guys also, y'all spiced the whole tournament up because you guys decided that you were going to add on to the prize. So just oh, wow. tell them, y'all, I, I want the folks at home to hear from the Kmart staff what y'all are giving out to the, to the winner in addition to the $500 cash prize that the winner will also get. So, so Jenny, since you since you were the one who did all the shopping, all, all that all that big list I actually put together for you. So, what did what did you go out there and get, Jenny? Okay, so in addition to what Anthony is already sorry guys, in addition to what Anthony is already um, given the winner, which is five hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. We're also going to include with the with the prize a fifty five inch screen TV and a PlayStation Four along in the package. Y'all can't, y'all can't beat that. Come on, man. Uh, and 55 that's the first minutes? prize. That's the first that's, prize. Okay. Oh, wow. Prize winner, they're going to get two tickets to another Barclays game of their choice. <laughs> it's there a given go. season right yeah. now. Sheesh. Listen. Yeah, I mean, y'all, y'all gotta love, you know, what we bringing to y'all, man. This is why we teamed up with Kmart, and yeah. they done stepped in, and they done turned this thing into a whole other party with all the giveaways that they got. They got a whole bunch of that's gonna be going down. So make sure you guys get there on time on on Sunday, December twenty third. We are at the Barclays Center, and it's going to go down right before the Nets play the Suns. Everybody that is at the event will get a Nets hoodie. Plus, you get a Kmart swag bag. You get access to all of the raffles that Kmart has. Plus, we got Sneaker Bar giving away a $150 gift certificate as well. Y'all know they got the hottest sneakers in New York City, up there in the Bronx. And, of course, Soundview Liquor sent us over another bottle for us to raffle off. So you got to get there on time because you do not want to miss these raffles. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, 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 a night to remember. So definitely get there on time. We still got a few spots left. We are almost packed in the boardroom. Um, so if you guys are trying to get on the list, you better hit us up now. You guys can hit us up uh, on the website, realfansrealtalk.com, Twitter, Instagram, at realfantalk, facebook.com forward slash realfansrealtalk, or just send us some fan mail, fan mail at realfansrealtalk.com, and you can get the ticket info, get your ticket. You know, you guys can get linked up with Kmart, get your shop your way on, you know, get your Uber points up, Uber and then points. go back to the store and go sure. get your, you know. I know y'all got nephews and nieces and kids and all that too that could use some extra, you know, Christmas gifts or something. You want to put a smile? Absolutely. Or you might want to just go on, you know, we've been on our charity tour. We've been hitting up the hospitals throughout the city. Uh, we went up to Montefiore in the Bronx. We did Brookdale. We did Kings County. We've been giving out kids, uh, gifts to the kids this whole uh, past week and a half. So maybe you might want to pick up some extra toys to, uh, to donate to the kids that can't make it home for Christmas. But if you are doing that, you should stop by Kmart. They got some good deals down there. And the work that they do in the community is something that you want to continue to support. So yeah. if you are going to get some extra shopping in, y'all run down there, man. 34th Street. It's beautiful down there this time of year anyway. You see the lights and everything. You know, so, uh, but we're going we gonna to rock. We got some sports that's going on, Santa. You wanted to tell us, uh, I know you, I know Statman sent you the memo when LeBron got blocked the other night. I know you, he wanted, he wanted to talk about it, but since he's not here, Santa, you could tell us how you felt about that block. Well, Santa doesn't want to be part of the whole hate that Statman does. Statman, he, he, he see anything that is bad for LeBron is good for Statman. So yeah. uh, he particularly enjoyed that block. I, I'm not going to comment on that. I'm going to stay politically correct and just oh, wow, say it was a, a nice play. That, you know what, Santa? That's amazing that you would uh, say that. And at first, of all, I, I have to. I couldn't even be mad because the 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 player that blocked LeBron was actually Jared Allen and uh, myself and Janine. Ran into him at the uh, Nets training center the other day. So I couldn't even be mad at that, you know. Plus it's the Nets. That's, that's Brooklyn. And actually doing good right now. Uh, seven uh, wins in a row. And they beat a couple of good teams along the way. There's a fair mail question. Uh, Christian from the Bronx wrote in, the Nets are looking hot right now. Do you think there's a chance of them slipping into the playoffs? You know what? I'm going to let y'all answer that. I'm going to let the guests answer. 
What y'all think? Can Brooklyn do it? Can they get in? They've proven. They're, they're proven. They've, they're beating the best team in the league uh, right now. And they've actually just beat my team. I'm a Laker fan, right? <laughs> I, I am, I am. So, so that, that was a tough block. You know, I understand. Janine, after I saw that picture, I was okay with the block. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, with, with, the, with the way they're playing right now, um, I, I think they have potential. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Russell is playing. He's, uh, I mean, he's, he's on point right now. And if the team continue to play with the energy and the level they play in there, it will be tough to beat them. I mean, th that team put up 140-something points in a, in a few games ago. Yeah. I mean, that's that's great. That's some great starts there. So, uh, I mean, I, I want the Nets to go in because look like my other team, um, New York, is not doing too well. Listen, I didn't want to bring them up to I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. I'm tired well, of them. Santa, okay, because we, you know, Santa, we talk about this every year. We talk and I know Statman has been asking you for the past 40 something years for a championship for the Knicks. When are you going to deliver? Or is it that Statman is just still on the naughty list? Is that why he's not getting a championship from the Knicks? There's a lot of other Knicks fans that are on the naughty list too, but I can't, oh, okay. I, you know, there's only so many miracles that Santa can do. Yeah, that, yeah the that, Knicks is just something that I'm so tired of being a Knicks fan. <laughs> yeah. Stress. I mean, listen, you know, y'all keep faith alive. I know uh, Dolan said the other day, that uh, he's not opposed to selling the team for the right price, and I think that's a step in the right direction because I've, I've been on record saying that the Knicks won't win the championship while he's the owner of the team. So maybe he will. So now, Santa, could you at least get that? Could you find a, a buyer to take the Knicks from uh, James well, Dolan? Well, I, I mean, I convinced James Dolan to do that. Baby steps. I gave him an offer he couldn't okay. refuse okay. that he has to sell the right team for the right offer. Now somebody's got to put up the money, that's all. I can appreciate you for that, uh, Santa, and I know Thank Statman you, does Thank too. You. Yeah, because uh, they 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 need it. Um, you know, but they got they got some good rookies. You did bless them with a couple of good rookies uh, this season. You know, um, but they, you know they still need Porzingis, and they need a, a couple of other another superstar or two superstar. before uh, I think they yeah. can be back in the playoffs. I would suit up as a Nick, you know, because I got the magic and stuff. But, the, yeah. you know, they... That's kind of unfair It's kind of advantage. unfair advantage, you yeah. know? So, and then all the other fans out there, other teams are like, why well, Santa got a pick? Yeah, that's, that's true. The next thing you know, Santa's hated more than LeBron. Like, oh, why didn't you use yeah. my team? The decision. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking my talents to Madison Square Garden. He's going to take them to the North Pole, and y'all could have teamed up, you know, on, on the can't. same team, man. You know, but uh, listen, man, you, you, you got to love it. And, and Santa, I, I can't vouch for Santa... He was the one who gave AI the crossover. That was his Christmas gift. Um, it was about eight, 88, something like that. Yep. He gave him that crossover. He wrote me a letter. Mm -hmm. He said he wanted to get better at basketball. I yeah. said, I'm going to give you a, the wickedest crossover ever. Uh-huh. And uh, so I've seen Santa do it. I saw Santa cross the reindeer so hard, Rudolph's nose fell off. <laughs> you know, so I, I've yeah. seen it in action. You don't, like, you got, those are like the exclusive like Christmas parties that you get invited to. I've, I've been to like two of them. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah I, you're, I you're too busy. You know. I mean, I, listen, man. Is we've been planning the tournament. I'm, I'm sorry, saying I will get up there after the tournament. I, I apologize. Okay. <laughs> Tell the elves. I hear text of Mrs. Claus, but you can't come here. <laughs> <your house. laughs> so you just gonna bring that up? You just and gonna keep bringing, bringing that up, Santa? I didn't DM exactly. I didn't DM her. I was not in her DMs, and I'm sure her DMs get flooded. You know, so I'm just I'm just saying, Santa, you got to protect yours. Okay. You know, you can't you can't keep it locked down. So. You know, get her a good Christmas gift this year, and I'm sure y'all will be in a good space. You know, don't let yeah, me... Right, we're in a good, I didn't say we weren't in a good space. I, just, I didn't know. I didn't know. Now you put words in saying well, that. Right, listen, Miss Claus, he said y'all good, so if y'all good, you know, y'all good. It, it is what it is, <laughs> you know? But, um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, we, we, we definitely got to see some some help for the uh, for the Knicks. Yeah. And, the, uh, and, uh, and the Nets could use a little bit of, of a boost, too, but they have some salary cap room. So next season, they are able to pick up two uh, max players. So we'll see how that goes. A couple of guys are available. Kyrie, Jimmy Butler, yeah. Clay Thompson, Durant, uh, Kawhi. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe both New York teams can actually make the playoffs at the same time. That's my, my next year Christmas gift wish. <laughs> Listen, I think if, if everybody, yeah, if everybody acts together and that's, you know, we have like a group uh, prayer session for the Knicks, then yeah. maybe they can uh, get some help or something. Maybe Santa can finally deliver. Yeah. 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 yeah we'll Why is the pressure got to be all put on me for? <laughs> it's Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas. 
Yeah. You know, I, listen, yeah, man. But everybody's asking for stuff for their team. <laughs> that is, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that, that is true because I know the Lakers could use a shooter uh, right now. So See what I mean? They got LeBron James. That wasn't enough. And no, come on, man. He needs some help. Golden State oh, got, got four. He I always got needs help. That's, that's the one. <laughs> Have you seen that free throw percentage, man? Yeah. We need help. <laughs> yeah, because you helped uh, LeBron with his uh, free throws in the clutch. Man, well, I can help Cam yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he definitely uh, could could use uh, yeah. some help with that. Yeah, but um, we got uh, we got some stuff going on right now in uh, in in the NFL. We're getting closer and closer to uh, to the playoffs. Santa, I just want to know who who are you taking right now to uh, to to come out of the NFCs? Do you think the the Cowgirls are gonna have it locked up? I know you don't want to say that, uh, Santa. Say I mean, I don't want the Eagles, obviously. They're throwing snowballs at me, yeah. so you can't have them do anything. So, yeah, they, they got theirs last year. Yeah, There's you kind of dropped the ball fans. on that one, Santa. You're supposed to stop them. From There's getting. a lot of Eagles fans that weren't born when that happened, and they were asking for an Eagles championship. So, yeah. you know, I made that happen, but, you know. You dropped the ball with the Panthers this year, Yeah, he, yeah, you definitely See, did. I can't win. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, every <laughs> game losing streak, like, what? Yeah, everybody needs something from you, uh, Santa, during this time of year. I mean, we're getting close. Um, who, who you got coming out of the AFC, though? You, you think it's going to be the Chiefs? You think they can make it all the way to the Super Bowl? That's a tough one. I think uh, I, I am picking the Chiefs. I do think they're the favorite. All right, and what they, about? They wear red just like Santa, too. So. Oh, so it's, the, it's a color scheme thing. Well, <laughs> yeah, they're my favorites. Okay. Well, I, I do think that the uh, that the Chiefs uh, will come out of the, the AFC. Now, I mean, it's... The, the the Patriots kind of been struggling in the last couple of weeks. The Steelers been up and yeah. down. Um, I mean, the Chargers are, are really good, but you know, Mahomes is just amazing. You know, he's as his second year in the league, and what he's been able to do this season, he's probably going to be uh, the MVP. Uh, so I got I got to go uh, with the Chiefs coming out. What do you guys think? Well, Emma, I'll start with you. Ooh, I'm not really sure. I just been looking at this Panther and Cam Newton, and I'm upset because I love Cam. So well, he's hurt. I know. Well, well, not just he's hurt. Yeah. They actually they out. Yeah. Well, yeah. and he's out for the for the season. They're I gonna know. Sit so these next two games. So, yeah. Yeah. Good was player. He, was he your fantasy Great football player. quarterback, or you you know you just? I just love Cam. <laughs> Shut up. If, you know what? The way I feel about Cam is like you and Serena. If you really want to go. Okay. Really Excuse me. Want to First go of all, we are and married. That's that's season. a completely different thing. That's yes. wifey for wifey. Okay. I'm just, letting, just to let you know, that's wifey. So, so right. you know, Serena, so baby, if you're watching, too, you, so. know, you know what it is. <laughs> I know y'all we all together like that, you yeah, know? Yeah, you know, on the low. Yeah. But he's, you know, he's hurt right now. He has a shoulder injury. That's why he hasn't been uh, playing up to his usual MVP form. Um, so I think, and it's pretty much done. I don't think they're going to make the playoffs at this point. So he's got to hope for, for next yeah, year. Rest in Hill. He'll be back <laughs> next year. Strong yeah, he's, he's, he's young. He's, he's good enough. Yes. He'll be back. He'll bounce yeah. back with some rest for that shoulder. What about the Saints? You guys think the Saints are coming out the NFC? Drew Brees? No? no nobody voting for Drew Brees? Glenn, who you got? Who's your team, Glenn? <laughs> so well, you also hey, have the Rams you know. too, the Saints, Rams. I mean, so again, yeah, there's some really good teams, honestly. I mean, when you look at the the competition right now, I'm a Patriot fan. Sorry about that. I'm a Patriot fan. So the Eagles are for me only because by choice. You know what? You beat my team. Yeah. No love for you. Well, they won one right now, so you guys got to get a tiebreaker. Yeah. Well, things are not looking good for us right now, so. We, we got some um, restructuring to do. Yeah, but I and, do um, believe um, Josh Gordon is also well, out for the season now. Um, yeah, you got to take care of some problems. Going through some stuff. Yeah, yeah he's going yeah, through some yeah. stuff with uh, substance abuse and yeah. his uh, mental health. So oh. we definitely uh, wish him a speedy recovery. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he won't be playing the remainder of the season, which does kind of suck for the Patriots because now they lose another uh, receiver. But if there's one team that I do have faith in in the Playoffs, it is the Patriots. I think, yeah. I mean, they kind of do the impossible a lot of the times in the playoffs. I mean, coming back <laughs> from uh, 24 points to the Falcons, mm -hmm. you know, Tom Brady can do something that most quarterbacks can only dream about yeah. doing in the, in the playoffs. So I think they still have a chance. But if the road doesn't go through Foxborough, which is not going to at this point because they, they've lost – uh, a couple of games later two, in the season. Back to back. Yeah, I don't know if they can go to Kansas City and beat Patrick Mahomes in that Again. offense. That that he's he's been amazing. He has the the receivers looking like young Randy Moss is out there with uh, Tyreek Hill, and um and even though they lost Kareem Hunt, yeah. they are still the running game looks like it pretty much hasn't uh hasn't missed a, a step. So 
We definitely got to uh Speaking of steps, wait, what about that James Harden travel? Ugh. Santa, first of all, I know if you was there that wouldn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, we gotta we do gotta talk about this uh James Harden because first of all the refs, y'all just make the NBA look really bad. When this man is taking six steps and then you're gonna hit him with a foul on a step back three, that's just ridiculous. Um, I mean, people already complain about the refs 24-7, yeah. but, I mean, that's just crazy. Did you guys, did everybody, did y'all see that? Yes, the five step, uh, steps he took five, to take we're, three? We were up to six, right? Yeah, six. <laughs> yeah. yeah, James Harden is, is amazing. Um, I don't know how, who gets a gets that kind of a, of a play like that. Yeah. That's like, a, I guess, the, the true, true, true superstar treatment that he just got because they just let him do whatever he wants to do on the court. That, that's just crazy. The refs, uh, they, they have to do something. The league has to do something about the refs because that's blatant mm -hmm. right there. You know, but um, we got a, we, we, we stopped on our on our holiday tour when we went to, uh, to Brookdale, which is a uh, maybe like 20 minutes from the station, and uh, we actually ran into uh, Dion Grant, who uh, won the Super Bowl with the with the Giants the first year they, they beat the Patriots. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't want to bring up, you know, bad times for you, but uh, the Giants are the only teams to have beaten um, the Patriots twice in, uh, in, the, in the Super Bowl. Yeah, with a bad team. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't say they were bad. If they, if they were bad, what does that make the Patriots? Uh, right. <laughs> you know, yes, I mean, terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible, it was terrible. It was terrible right. just on one day, though. Yeah. Well, you play, you play your hats out all season, yeah. and then you play your worst game, and your opponent plays their best game. Yeah, I mean, uh, hats out to the Giants. I think I Michael uh, Strahan said it best to all the other teams in the NFL. They stomped you out. Um, <laughs> they definitely got to Tom Brady more than most do with that defensive mm -hmm. line. And then uh, I think Eli pulled off one of your miracles. Yeah, those are uh, ridiculous catches. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? It, it just shows, you know, the heart and the toughness of, of the two-time Super Bowl MVP, Eli Manning, the way he could just break away from those tackles and get the, you know, the pass down the field, you know, to, for some great catches and some great plays in the history of, uh, of the Super Bowl. Um, so, we, you know, we spoke about that, myself and, uh, and, uh, and Dion Grant. He talked about how much fun it was beating the, the Patriots uh, down. Um, <laughs> you just yeah, that, yeah, I'm going. I'm going to keep uh, keep you know just rubbing that in like right. that. Right. Um, yeah. 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 was on my side, right? I, I, I am. Open hands, giving all I his pleasure, right? Yeah. Yeah. He did. He did walk off the Giants hat on me, so I said, you know, I told him I was going when I came in. I was just going to let everybody on the set know. I don't care who their teams are. It's all about the Giants today. Sure. Santa, I think you would agree with that one. One hundred percent. Yeah, I knew. You know, I knew. I, I knew. Uh, yeah. See. All right. So you good then? You, you everything is good. New York team. That's that's my team. There you go. Right there. It's it's all about the New York that's football love. giants. Uh. So uh, we're gonna actually we, we're gonna not play the whole interview because we figured since he was talking about beating down Tom Brady. And uh, the Patriots, <laughs> we we figured we, no, we, we you did enough talking about that. Uh, yeah, so a little break. Exactly. So we figured we'd drop it on uh, the full interview on Christmas Day, but we did want to show you guys <laughs> uh, a little bit. Uh, he he makes his uh, his Super Bowl picks, and um, he talks a little bit about Kaepernick in the snippet. So we're gonna run mm -hmm. that snippet, and when we come back, we got one of the the the, the U.S. Olympic team members, one of the boxers, yeah. Bruce Shuju Carrington is going to be coming on the set, joining us right after this break. So let us know when y'all ready. We're going to rock out with the video. And Bruce, pull up. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real, Real Talk. RealTalk.com. The Arthur Domus, Trick Young, and Intern Tom. Flutter, white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cat. Who you picking this year to make it to the Super Bowl? Mm, that's a hard one. Um... If the Saints keep their home field advantage, it will definitely be the Saints cause me playing in, in that dome several years, showing that it was hard. It was super hard, you know, to win in New Orleans. So if they, if they could keep the home field advantage, I think they're going. From the AFC, the way Kansas City put up points, I really can't see anybody beating Kansas City because it looks like they're going to win the AFC if they have home field advantage because it's hard to win up there, you know. You got two teams right now that got the best record in the AFC and the best record in the NFC. And I just don't see neither one of them losing. I actually, Kansas City defense is shaky. 
So, you know, when you... It's bad. Yeah, 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 it's bad. It's terrible. Um, that's the only thing. They're going to have to put up a lot of points in order for them to make a run through the playoff. And they could do that, I feel. Kansas City, they are saying uh, um, the Chargers um, can go either one of them. Okay. Now, um, I got I got to talk about Kaepernick. He still doesn't have a job. Some teams right now that could definitely use a, a good quarterback. One of them, the Washington Redskins, who they just lost two quarterbacks in like back to back weeks. What's your take on, on on Kaepernick? Do you think he'll ever play again? And what's your stance on the, on the protest itself? I oh, don't know. You know, with this whole lawsuit that he have, um, I think that's one of the things that's keeping him out of the NFL. I think it's sad. Um, this guy didn't commit no crime. You know, all he did was take a stand and put what he loved more than anything um, on the line for justice. You know, you know, just trying to protect his people, black and brown. And, you know, it, it, if it's going to be done to us, you know, let the justice speak for itself also. And the man just, <laughs> he took a knee. He took a knee out, he took a seat, regardless. Of, you know, he just took a stand to bring awareness to it and the fact that he can't play a game that he done gave so much to. Um, even in the NFL, they got him bent to the Super Bowl, and won NFC championships and everything else. And the fact that he can't play the game that he done worked so hard for is sad. So I wish him the best. Um, and I hope that he have another opportunity to play this game. But if not, that it work out in his favor. It took 12 years to get here, and it was worth it. It was worth it. I knew what I was doing when I signed here. I knew what we had them built last year. We believed in it, even when we was down in the middle of the season. You know, I, I will quote, well, if you don't believe, you don't belong. Everybody believe, and look at us now. All right, welcome back. And I know, Michael, I'm sorry. I know that probably brought up some bad memories for you, <laughs> that uh, press conference, because that was literally right after the Giants kicked the Patriots' butts <laughs> and, uh, in the Super Bowl, and they brought that, you know, the championship back to, uh, to New York where it belongs. But um, sometimes you got to live through the pain, you know. But, I, you know, we still appreciate you, you know, and the whole K-1 staff, <laughs> you know, <laughs> for being a part of the, the, the tournament um, this year. But uh, we, we definitely have to... Uh, from the future on uh onto the to the set right now bruce uh carrington olympic you. boxer welcome to real fans real talk we gotta thank we gotta you. chop it up a little bit at the turkey so. giveaway mm -hmm. but uh now we got we get to finally sit down and talk a little bit of boxing with mm -hmm. you yes, sir. Yes, so sir. introduce yes, sir. yourself to the real fans real talk family please well uh as you guys know i'm bruce carrington jr uh I've been boxing for about 14 years now I'm the U.S. Olympic alternate for the 2016 Olympic team, and uh, I'm shooting for the 2020 uh, Olympic team in uh, Tokyo. Uh, Golden Glove champ two times. Uh, yeah, just the you know the list goes on right now, and uh, you know I'm just you know just trying to just you know make a legacy with this whole boxing thing right now, man. Just become just trying to become the best. And yes, is that the first Golden Gloves crown or the second oh, one? Oh, no, this is the first one. This is the first one. Always the, the, the second one stays at home. home. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. see the bling. We got to get a close-up on the blingage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's being humble right now. <laughs> <laughs> Super humble. I mean, you got you know, you to keep it like, like that. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, I don't have to be all too brash and everything like that. Everything, you know, that I do speaks for itself. Absolutely. You know? that, is, that is true. Tell us, tell us about the, the Golden Gloves, uh, first of all, because a lot of the legends take, mm -hmm. on, take the Golden Gloves home before they uh, turn pro. So tell us about your journey to the Golden Gloves. Well, to me, you know, uh, Golden Gloves is like, you need to like fight in it. Like when I, when I, when I like for, as a New York fighter, like it's like when I was a kid, I used to watch, you know, guys like Saddam Ali and uh, Daniel Jacobs, they used to come up in the uh, amateur ranks in the Golden Gloves and they all, you know, was just like taking it year after year after year. And I was just like, you know, being in the same gym as them, like they were like my idols, you know, yeah. I was just like, yo, now nah, I gotta be like that. I gotta be like that. So ever since, you know, I was like a young kid. I just always wanted to go, uh, be a Golden Glove champion. So Golden Gloves is basically like, you know, it's a three month uh, long tournament with like all the elite, like, you know, New York uh, fighters all come and fight together in this one big tournament. Mm -hmm. And just like, uh, and then at the finals, like it's either at the big venue, like in the Barclays or Madison Square Garden, where, you know, you just get to showcase your talent. And actually the last one that I fought in, I got the uh, Sugar Ray Robinson Award uh, um, belt. That's basically, that's basically like, you know, the fighter of the tournament. So all of these fighters from New York, three month long tournament, all these fights going on and my, you know, fights and skill was like, you know, um, 
you know, more out there than anybody else's. Like, you know what I mean? And that was like, that was like, a, that's probably my favorite award so far. You know, and uh, oh, that, that's that's big because a lot of fighters come out uh, of the tournament. Uh, we and we, we definitely got a lot of extended family members of the show who are Golden Gloves winners as well. Um, you know, shout out to Justin Big, shout out to yeah, Nathan yeah, Conja. Um, those guys are, are you know, it's no, it's not an easy journey getting through that level of competition in the Golden Gloves. But you transition that and you made the Olympic team, which is even harder. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. do because yeah. it's only uh, was it four five spots. Yeah. I was an alternate for the Olympic team. I'm not even going. You know, I was an alternate because uh, there was like something that had, that had happened when uh, you know. I wasn't able to even at least fight for the number one spot, so I was fight out there fighting for the number two spot. But yeah, I was like, you know, it was uh, that was a whole journey itself. You know, back then they were like, you know, trying out the like the no headgear type of situation mm -hmm. you know, with the amateurs and stuff like that. So I used to fight in tournaments like six days, seven days long. Every day you're having a fight with no headgear. And it's, it was like it was like you know a crazy experience, but I loved it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It might sound you know it might sound crazy, but I loved every second of it. And uh, you know just fighting all those elite fighters, you know you're just gonna become better, you know, over time, you know. And I just love that whole experience, man. A lot of the fighters, the pro fighters, some of them, most of them, prefer without the headgear, even though yeah. you don't have the protection. But it's just more comfortable. To yeah, not, it's not. What it is is the fact that you know you want to you like. Sometimes the headgear impairs your vision of like certain shots that's coming like around like your peripherals. Yeah. So, so you know, having your headgear off, you know, you don't have to worry about none of that extra stuff. Even though it's a little more ris risky now risky. because yeah. the protection is not there. Yeah. But it's still like I don't know. You as a fighter, you'd rather see these punches coming than the ones that you don't see because the ones you don't see are the ones that hurt the most. Yeah. yeah, and as a as a pro fighter, you're not wearing uh, the head gear yeah, anyway, so yeah, 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 you yeah. might as well. Just so basically, they, they, that, that's what they were doing back then. They were prepping us, you know, for the Olympics and, and uh, for the pros to like, you know, take the head gears off and stuff like that. That's the, they're still doing that in the Olympics. So, so with you, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. with you having such an illustrious like amateur career, what mm -hmm. what would it take for you to make that transition into pro? Uh, well, I, I to be honest, it's just age. Yeah, I, I can turn pro right now. I'm 21 years right. old. And uh, I can turn professional right now, but for me right now, I'm just taking this time just to, uh, you know, just to continue to build my brand, you know, you know, have more followers and stuff like right. that before <coughs> I turn professional because, the, you know, the name of the game is, is it's still, it's the, it's a business at the end of the day. So, yeah. you know, the more, you know, people that you have at your fights, you know, the more, you know, popular you get, the more successful you're going to be in the boxing and boxing game. You know, that's what any type of entertainment, to be yeah. honest, you know. So that's my goal right now. That's why I'm trying to get a big, you know. Uh, following right now for our profession. And that's great that you recognize that because a lot of young fighters or just mm -hmm. young athletes mm -hmm. may not know, especially when you have all of these promoters knocking at your door yeah. to turn professional, to have the discipline to say like, nope, I'm going to wait, I'm going to build my brand, right, and then right. I'm going to make that transition. Right. So that's great. There's a lot of promoters that has come to me too. You know, a lot of like that's been trying to sign me and stuff. But once I tell them what I'm doing and what my plan is, they'll be like, oh no, that's a smart idea. So now, you you're doing it, you're doing what's right, yeah. you're doing what you're doing. So how how are are you um, preparing yourself for the business side of professional boxing? Uh, well, I have I have um, you know a lot of um, I have a lot of uh, different um, um, publicists and stuff like that as well, just to you know help me you know go go to different events and stuff like that. Um, you know, just just going to like a lot of like these different places that's going to help me be recognized and stuff like this to help me uh, um, you know promote myself in this boxing in this boxing thing. Now, are you going to turn professional after the Olympics, whether you make it or not? Or what do you think? What's the time frame? Um, what I'm going to do is, okay, so this is, uh, I'm glad that you asked that because my 2019 will be my last full year as an amateur boxer. And I'm going to have a big fight uh, April 19th at Madison Square Garden that, you know, all you guys are invited. Yeah. <laughs> you know, definitely come in and, you know, bring as many people as you want. And I'm right across the street, so y'all good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely going to put on a show. So, but yeah, 2019 is my last year as an amateur boxer. So, you know, you guys go ahead and grab your tickets before I, you know, and then when I turn Except professional. Before I turn big yeah, time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know All what right. I mean? Just get on the Team Carrington movement, you know? And then, you know, after that, I'm just going to turn pro, and then I'm, I'm just, you know, take the world by storm. What weight class are you looking to fight at once you turn pro? Uh, probably um, featherweight. Okay. Probably featherweight. I'd say like, like, like around 126. Yeah, that, okay. that's probably where I'm going to be at. Do you think you're going to fight in different weight classes when you turn pro? As I, as I grow, as I get older, yeah, I probably, you know, my, um, 
I probably want to like retire at like around like welterweight, like 147, something like around that. Because like my physique, you know, I'm still like a slim dude and everything like that, you know, so I'm not trying to get butt so big, you know, while I'm fighting, you know, yeah. just to keep that advantage and, you know, my, mobi my mobility. Everything is just like, you know, you have to calculate everything as you go on. Uh, definitely uh, makes sense. Now, there's a couple of big uh, pro fights that are on the horizon that I want to get your take on. Mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, Deontay Wilder. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, Deontay Wilder is involved in both of these fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the rematch. I, I, I kind of know already. Yeah, know with Deontay <laughs> uh, Wilder and um, and and the fight between uh, Joshua and uh, and Deontay Wilder. Uh, so you, uh, the f you said what Fury? Yeah, uh, the yeah, Tyson Fury, Fury rematch. Okay, so. Um, I feel like Deontay Wilder, he is like the most dangerous boxer like in like in the whole game right now. Mm -hmm. Like it's he's always dangerous from round one to round twelve, as you can see in the last fight that he had. Like, you know, I felt like, you know, Tyson Fury was doing really well boxing him, like really well better, you know, than a lot of other boxers that has fought Deontay. And but like Deontay he was still like poised and still kept his composure and still was able to like you know, knock him down that last round. Yeah. Yeah. Which made that fight a draw. Um, I feel like if they fight again, I feel like it's going to be, a, it might be like, you know, a, a similar turnout, but Deontay might, you know, really, you know, calculate more and really catch him, like really yeah. finish him, you know, because uh, I feel like the last fight he really like, you know, he when he dropped him, he could have finished them, but then he just got over anxious and trying to get him out there and he yeah. got tired. But yeah, I feel like he might execute the plan perfectly if they fight again. And for Joshua, I don't think Joshua's going to beat him either. I honestly don't because I noticed that in order for you to beat Deontay, you have to be a mobile fighter. You have to move a lot. Yeah. Like Lewis Ortiz. And he, he doesn't was, even move uh, as far fast as uh, Fury does. Uh, yeah, no, nah, he doesn't move as fast as Fury does, like uh, on his feet. No, not at all. But Lewis Ortiz, he was like a mobile guy. But, you know, as he the rounds got, got on, he got tired. Yeah. And then that's when he just got, he got stuck and then got caught with the right hand and, you know, that mm -hmm. was, you know. Which so many fighters have been uh, hit with that uh, right hand. Yeah, and, yo. And, and have gone and down. a lot of them have not come up. That's why, that's another thing why, I, like, you know, I tip my hat off to Tyson Fury. Because, yeah. Boy, that dude. Oh, yeah. Was, Came he, up oh, from that, man, boy. He was determined. Like, he wanted to win that. <laughs> yeah. Like, he got up from the dead. <laughs> I give his prop. <laughs> yeah, I give, I give his props on that because yeah. I did not he, think he pulled the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what he did. He definitely did. But, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't feel Joshua's going to do it because he's not mobile enough. He has great speed, great punching power, mm. everything, mm. but he does not have the mobility to yeah. stay away from that right hand. I don't see it. What, what's your opinion on European fighters? Because personally, I don't see them wanting to come over to the United States to mm. fight. I think this is the same thing we're seeing with Anthony Joshua. He's Well, if he even takes the fight, it definitely won't be in the United States. Mm. Um, and I, I know a, a lot of the top... Uh, Especially, you know, London, those fighters, they won't come over here to fight. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny. They're actually trying to bribe him now to try to fight in the, uh, Madison Square Garden a little bit. But, mm -hmm. um, uh, I mean, I actually, London fighters, they're like master boxers. Like, seriously, like, if you go over, I've been over there. I fought over there in London. And, bruh, they, that's like a boxing country. Like, mm -hmm. they, even amateur fights. Like, out here in America, like, a lot of people don't even know about amateur fights that goes on sometimes. So, you know, uh, they don't get this, the same support or, mm -hmm. like, you know, some certain fights be, like, you know, a lot of people don't come through to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, uh, an amateur fight in London is like a professional fight, bro. Like, they have a whole entrance and, you know, the whole thing. It's, it's ridiculous, you know. It's like, a, like I said, a fighting country. It's a boxing country. Yeah. So they, those they do guys sell out stadiums over there. No, yeah. they, no, those guys over there, like, they're, they're, they're no joke. Like, they can really fight, you yeah. know what I mean? But, uh um, well, you I can see I with Tyson Fury, he looks flabby and stuff, but he, he moves. No, like. Yeah, he knows how to move. Though. Yeah. He's yeah. really good. He's really good. So I feel like on those guys in the, in the um, you know, in the, Euro the European guys, I feel like I don't know. I'm not even sure exactly, you know, why they don't come, you know, over the over the pond and you know fight or fight us. But um, you know, sooner or later, you know, once those guys get up on certain ranks, they have <coughs> to fight the best of the best. Yeah. Well, they they prefer having the home crowd and yeah, and yeah. That, I Yo, mean, those guys sell out. They sell out uh, football stadiums yeah. and soccer stadiums. Like, yep. bro, like Anthony Joshua sells out soccer stadiums. Yeah. Not a boxing arena, basketball. No soccer yeah. stadiums. That's you know, why wouldn't you want to go over there and fight? Yeah. Do you, you know? feel like American amateur fighters don't get enough respect or credit or admiration for what? You guys bring I don't think it's that. I just don't think that we're just promoted. It's like, not, yeah, it's yeah, not a TV. Not it's not promoted. It's, it's, yeah. There's yeah. no money behind it, so they don't. You know, those yeah. guys not in London, money. they get their promotion out there. They and those guys and uh, on the Olympic team in mm -hmm. London, they're like 
idolized by so many people in the country. Like, you right. know, they got all these followers and stuff like that. So in America, I feel like that's something that should be fixed. You could be an Olympic athlete in America and you won't know the person until yeah. you see them on the yeah, Olympics. Yeah, exactly, so. definitely. Until, like, you know, Olympic year comes, oh, yeah, they're guys, you know. But, you know, after Olympic year, you're not going to hear from them for, like, the next two yeah. or three years, you yeah. know. Yeah. Unless they do something ridiculously incredible. Yeah, right, exactly, <laughs> you know. So, no, nah, no, definitely the promotion needs to be there for the uh, amateur boxers in order for us to be known as well as, you know, they do. Well, you look at Deontay Wilder. He was a bronze medalist, yeah. and then yeah. no no one heard from him, and yeah. then I don't know, you he know. the only guy that medaled that year, the only guy. Why do, why did we not hear about him? Why? Yeah. You know why? What I mean? That yeah, because we even, uh, you know, us, and, and that's kind of like going, that's the home team right there. Yeah. And I started following Deontay Wilder maybe after, like, his uh, his 25th fight. And that's only yeah. because, uh, you know, shout out to, to Ring 10 uh, New York. That's the, the boxing charity that we're affiliated with in the and Bronx. Mark yeah. And, uh, you know, Mark Breland and, and all of those guys. But uh, the president, uh, Matt Farrego, was actually the, uh, the, the, the ring doctor in uh, one of Deontay's fights, and I saw him, and I saw Mark Breland, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, who's this kid, Deontay Wilder? Yeah. And yeah. and I started watching him, you know, and went myself and, and with Statman, and it was like, no, this guy is the truth in boxing, and that's why we def we, we drove to Alabama to go get Deontay Wilder. Yeah, that's how yeah. much we oh, knew wow. he was going to, to be that guy in, in, in boxing, and especially in a division that's been lacking yeah. since uh, maybe the, the mid-2000s. Mm -hmm. The, early, the heavyweight early earlier, you know, the heavyweight division has kind of been non-existent because uh, the Klitschko brothers kind of threw it off because they wouldn't fight each other uh, to unify the belt. So that kind of threw things off, and then it just wasn't, you know, wasn't too many guys. To yeah. Like now there's a lot of guys coming up, but yep. for some reason that whole it was like a whole drought. So there was like no real like you know, competitors that yeah. was able to at least even threat the Klitschkos. Right. You know, yep. but you know, like like I said, like now it's like a bunch of like freaks of nature that's coming up in the heavyweight division. It's coming, it's and I'm excited. Coming back. I'm I'm really happy that the heavyweight division is back. You know, coming back alive because now we're starting to hear all of these comparisons with oh, uh, the '80s with Mike Tyson and Van Holyfield, who mm -hmm. who would match up better than you know, and uh, you know, it's just making the heavyweight division come back alive, and everybody just has their eyes all focused on them now. Yeah, and, and it's actually it's really great for boxing as a whole. Yeah. If the heavyweight division is thriving, then, you know, boxing is going to see even crazier pay-per-view numbers. Yeah, uh, definitely. But, I mean, because fortunately, the, the welterweight's been holding it down. Mayweather, yeah, Pacquiao, yeah. and those guys, yeah. Triple G, Canelo, that, that whole that division, they've been holding it down. a whole lot of heavy hitters uh, coming up in uh, super middleweight and welterweight division. Um, like, a lot of them. Lightweight division's coming up a little bit, too, with Javante Davis. Yeah. And, uh, Lomachenko and uh, Terrence Crawford, I believe he's mm -hmm. still in the Crawford is amazing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Oh, man, that dude is a beast. Bro. That's yep. that, yo, he is a beast. I watched that dude spar. Like, oh, uh, man, he has, like, this dog, like, this anger mode that turns on if, like, he feels like the fighter is trying to, like, get a little head, ahead of himself. Yeah. Man, he's a, he, he's definitely a, a beast, though. That's why one, one thing, you know, what I want to tell you is if a lot of people don't notice about Santa... But Santa used to box uh, back in the day. <laughs> um, and I'm telling you, if you if you like if you want to work on your jab or, or your right cross, Santa his his hand skills is registered. Didn't you, you said you had to register him ten years ago, Santa? You had to register the hands. <laughs> Something like that. You like to be humble. You don't want to talk about it, uh, Santa. But <laughs> you can let the people know. It's, it's all a fair advantage, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because he got the Christmas magic and all of that as as well. So he moves a little a little bit different. They think you know because Santa's a big guy, he can't get around the ring, but. Santa he he has the real record that uh you know Rocky Marciano they gave it to him at first but it was in actuality it was Santa who had that record first a well, long time yeah. ago I'm over yeah. a thousand still exactly. undefeated you know <laughs> but you gotta so check the archives years back, exactly you, know? you gotta check the archives <laughs> but uh, we we do got one more video that we gotta show you guys uh really quick and uh we gonna we gonna bring uh Ladybug and we are gonna bring the back to back uh 2K tournament champion out. Um, on the on on the set for a quick second. Well, tell the champ just come on out there, Cliff. We got to see the champ uh, and uh, and Ladybug. I want to say one one thing. Mm -hmm. Just a reminder, the reminder, big reminder. April nineteenth, Madison Square Garden. Going to fight. Oh, you guys purchase your tickets. And time is right. Oh, we're gonna be promoting that fight on Real Fans Real Talk every week, so you ain't got to worry about that. that. Yeah. I appreciate. And we're gonna be in the building. We're gonna be at the garden uh, for that fight. Um, I'm I'm just gonna say it right now. Knockout uh, yes, victory. Yes, I'm just letting. I'm yes. letting the world know Both that you're gonna knock exactly. So what we like to do on Real Fans Real Talk is is, is you know 
when, when, when the guys come up and the ladies come up, we, we speak these things into existence. Yeah. And we're already going to tell you right now, it's going to be a knockout and it's going to be a show. Right. That's right. That's All right. right. That's right. So uh, we definitely going to rock out. And uh, the back to back champ is on his way out right now. I know he's got a lot of things to say. I told you know I told you guys, Statman is not here because he's actually been practicing this. Uh, this yeah, Statman week. always finds a way to avoid me when I'm on the <laughs> show. I think he's nervous. He gets nervous. He gets nervous when you come. And I always think, making excuses. That's yeah, that, he, he definitely uh, he gets nervous, She's you know. But uh, it's, it's definitely gonna go down at the Barclays Center. Big shout out to all of the sponsors: Kmart, the whole Shop Your Way team, the Rosado Firm, Sneaker Bar, uh, Soundview Liquors. Uh, big shout out to everybody. Oh, we also we got the cipher that we we added too. It's gonna be all sports bars. We got the ladies coming out. So shout out to everybody that's uh, involved with putting the cipher together. Shout out to the Barclays Center for having us again. Uh, Joe's. He has been making this thing happen for the past two years, and I know I drive him crazy. Statman drives him crazy, but he always finds a way to work everything out and uh, get everybody out to the to the Barclays Center. Um, so, Champ, just just come on out, Champ. Just hurry up. Just come real real, real quick. Uh, can, can you can one of y'all can one of y'all get get a get a Champ? See, he always got, got his next gear on. He ready. To, he ready to go, man. He, he's out here ready to go. Can, you, can, 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 can the Champ grab one of y'all y'all mics for a second? Cause we gotta give we gotta give the chip chip come on take take the mic we gotta give you a chance right now I want you what I what I need you to do is call out the stat man and tell him you came from hey, yo, business you coming from TV hey, yo shout out to Real Talk Real Fan Radio you coming um this Sunday live at the Barclays stat man shout out to Ant and the whole staff Anthony Mason the whole staff over there family on three is going down this Sunday man. Now you hold on, man. You came a little. Last time you came, you was like, "No, nah, I'm going for the three P. I want to hit you." Yeah, no, we're going for the three P. Like Golden State Warriors, back to back to back. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. We're going for the three P. It's going down, man. Are hey, you picking the Warriors? Nah, nah I, I match up. I play with the Nets. I could play with anybody. I, I might pick Brooklyn. Wait, hold on. So I think we should do Knicks Nets if that's the case. Then you want to do, do Brooklyn Nets and Knicks? Oh Lord. I, 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 I gotta speak to the we'll see what's going on. I like to match up. I don't like to play with like slow the teams. I like to match up and keep it even. <laughs> hey, listen, man, it's, it's, it's going down. Make sure cause cause I don't want I don't want the, the, the folks at home to forget um, because it's, we're having a good time and it's going to be a great event. But we're raising money for Family on Three here, the Family on Three Foundation. And you guys can get more information about Family on Three at familyonthree.org. You can find out all the amazing things that they're doing in the community and with uh, with the the youth. Um, you know, the ho part of the hospital tour that we just uh, finished going on was with uh, Family on Three. So we were out. Uh, we went to Kings County in, in Montefiore. That was with Family on Three, and uh, we must have reached uh, maybe. 200 to almost between two and, and, and 300 uh, kids between both hospitals giving out uh, gifts um, and we still have uh, one more hospital that we're gonna hit up as well to, to give out toys to so definitely want to commend Anthony Mason Jr. and uh, Vance Torre on everything that they've been doing uh, with Family on 3. It's been an amazing run. And again, I want to thank the whole team at Kmart for everything that you guys have done, stepping in and, and being a part and trying to make this. Because that was one thing you guys said was we want to make this thing even bigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, we appreciate that. Family on 3 appreciates that. And every kid that I saw in the hospital this past week and a half that had a smile on their face, I know they appreciate everything that everyone collectively has done to make this thing happen. So we definitely, from the bottom of our hearts, want to thank everybody for coming out uh, and, uh, and being a part of, of the, the 2K tournament. Santa, do you, is there anything that you need to let the folks at home know uh, in order to stay on the, the nice list this year? Well, maybe they should donate to Family on 3. So <laughs> donate, donate to the youth, man. Give it's about the kids, man. To donate. The kids. Mm -hmm. right, right. So, so, Santa, so we've extended to in our Kmart store right now and our Brooklyn store. We're actually raffling tickets um, to the um, Nets and um, Suns game for anybody who actually um, donate to the um, organization. So we're collecting donations at, the, at those two locations, and everybody who donates get a chance to actually go in for a raffle and can actually come see you tear down on that day. It's going right? down, man. That's it's a Sunday, bonus prize man. right there. Y'all got to love what Kmart is out here yeah, doing. Appreciate K yeah. Kmart, too, staff. They got a couple the, um, of stores throughout the city, but I'm going to still tell y'all go to the 34th Street. 34th Street. <laughs> if, if you're in New York, man, make sure y'all stop at Kmart in Manhattan, 34. What's the other location? Brooklyn, Sears, and Kmart. Oh, uh, Brooklyn. And what more? What more Where, is that? Where's it? The one out in Brooklyn. 
Brooklyn, yeah, Brooklyn. there's another, oh, so, so it's another mall. It's like 2307 um, Beverly Road. Okay. Okay. Beverly Road, Flatbush, yeah. man. If you went in Flatbush, support that Kmart, man. Pop, pop. Y'all better get out there and stop playing. <laughs> support them because they support them. Yeah, they got, they got three pairs of tickets, man, waiting to be raffled, yeah, man. Yeah, enough. So get, to K, get down to Kmart, support this <laughs> Christmas season. It's for the kids. It's for the youth. Exactly. And don't forget, three. you get that swag real bag things, in the real city. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm bringing my basketball team too. I, I'm also coaching youth basketball team. I'm gonna bring about twelve of them. We are gonna buy tickets from Ant and the staff too. It's actually, tomorrow we gonna meet up tomorrow and we we'll get the tickets from so raffle bags, Christmas bags for the kids. That's what it's for, man. It's all about these kids and and giving them something positive uh, to to look forward to. So uh, again, guys, go online, support Family on Three. It's familyonthree.org. If you want to donate directly to them, you can through the website. If you want to come out, everything that we raise from every raffle that we do on Sunday is going directly to Family on Three. Just so you guys know, everything that we raise, and we already started at the uh, over at Bleachers. We uh, we had a couple of raffles over there, and and that all went directly to Family on Three. And again, it's going towards every gift that they purchase is coming from what we generate right now um through through the tournament the the first round and then again on sunday at the barclay center so please make sure you guys come out it's going to be an amazing event um big shout out to, to twin and to statman they will be clashing of the titans in the finals it's, uh, Stat it's, it's man, you gotta get your down. practice on man be ready you gotta practice be ready sunday man <laughs> yo, yo, you heard it, yo, stat man. Where you at, stat? Come on, I hope, yo, I hope you ready, yo, stat man. I'm telling you right now. You better be on the PlayStation right now with the picture in picture and real fans. We're talking the corner because I need you to hear this. I wanted you, you know, I wanted Twin to come up here and talk his talk like he the does. Practice, you got to be ready because I only play 2K only once. In, I, I, I play, I play basketball growing up, so I don't even got the game in the crib. I just naturally just he don't got the, the game in the crib. I just crib, pick up the controller man. and play what it. You got to say about I that. play it off for of instance. I don't even play it in the house. <laughs> that man, you better, you better come correct that man. Okay. It's so Stuff that's not really here to defend the ball. At all, like, at all. It's, it's okay. all right, man. It's definitely right. we go. We're gonna wrap it up though, really quick. We'll start on this side. Final thought, one, one by one. Start it off, twin. Right, um, just shout out to everybody, the whole Brooklyn, real fans, real talk, family on three organization, supporting the youth and the kids. Um, Sunday is going down, man. Come out and support. Janine, yes, come out and support Sunday, December twenty third. Thank you, Anthony, for having us here. Remember, come down to Kmart on 34th Street. We also have a Kmart at Astor Place, too. And then there's also a Kmart in Brooklyn. There it is. Yeah, come out and support Anthony. Come out to 2K19 program, and we'll be there to meet you and also help you sign up to shop your way. Michael? Oh, yes. Um, so, again, Anthony, thank you for giving us this platform. I know my team is really excited, looking forward to Sunday. The extended team is also excited, exactly. looking to actually engage with all these members. We, ha we have tons of promotion going on right now in our Steers and Kmart location right before the holidays. And on top of that, you could get a free personal shopper to assist you all through the holidays. Bruce, someone thank want to talk you. about that fight? And, uh, yes, April 19th, save the date, Friday, April 19th. Big now, Master Garden. Big fight, big fight. Everybody come through and uh, follow me on uh, Instagram, Bruce underscore Carrington, and uh, Facebook, Bruce Carrington Jr. And it's gonna be a knockout. For the yeah, you already know. You already know. <laughs> Emerald, you already know. Really quick. Last but not least, thank you again for Real Fans Real Talk. Everybody have a safe holiday and just continue the spirit of giving. I'm just gonna say, Santa, could you bring uh, Manny Machado to the Yankees? Just make that happen? Maybe, but there's a lot of people that are still asking <laughs> for Lady Vogue for Christmas. I already told them that they can't Lady have Lady <laughs> 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 Merry Christmas, happy holidays. It's your favorite Lady Bug, and you know we're gonna be here on Sunday. <laughs> 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 All right, for myself, Trip Young, Santa, and everybody, we up out of here, man.
Real Talk. Yeah. Real Fans, Real Talk.com. Real Fans, Real Talk.com. If it, if it, uh.